Somchenkoy. President, please be seated. President, will you please ask The court is now in session. Today, the chamber will conclude hearing testimony of witness Lot Tsui and then commence hearing testimony of another witness that is to TCW 937. Ms. G.S. Wong, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Gracias, Mr. President, for today's proceedings. All parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunchi is present Nunchi in the holding cell downstairs as he requests to have his rights to participate in and be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the graffier. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Lord Sui, is ready and present in the courtroom with his uh, duty counsel. And the reserve witness, that is to TCW 937, took an oath before the other club stayed to yesterday's morning. And he has Mr. Mung Suwan as his Maître duty counsel. President, thank you. President, je vous remercie. The chamber now decides on the request la by Nunchi. The chamber has received a waiver from Nunchi. Dated 13 August 2015, which notes that due to his health that is headache, backache, and that he cannot sit and concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requires to have his rights to participate in and be present at the 13th August 2015. Having seen the medical report of Noon Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 13 August 2015, who notes that Noon Chi has moderate back pain and it became become severe when he moves. I recommend that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs by an audiovisual means. The AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow it remotely. That applies for the whole day. The Chamber now hands the floor to the defense team for Kiel Sampon to continue putting questions to the witness. Counsel, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à Thank tous. You, Mr. President. Bonjour, good Monsieur le Témoin. Je vais poursuivre et terminer mes questions. With, uh, my questions and I will Hier, vous avez évoqué un certain nombre de faits avec mon confrère Coupé facts, uh, relativement aux relations entre la zone nord-ouest et la zone est. Ma première question est de savoir est-ce que vous connaissez les liens qui existait entre les responsables des deux zones. Witness, uh, did not know about uh, their 
communication. I only heard from ordinary soldiers uh, like me that these two zones uh, made a mutual friendship. Et sans parler de communication, est-ce que euh, vous savez euh, quel était le lien entre Sao Pim et Chil People. I only knew about uh, the uh, lower rank soldiers like myself who were working at the Trapanto Modem. Vous dites que vous avez entendu parler uh, par des soldats comme vous uh, des relations amicales entre zone est et zone nord-est. Nord-ouest, pardon. Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer uh, ce qu'ils ont dit exactement were considered like brothers. That's all I heard about uh, the zones. Et est-ce qu'ils vous ont dit depuis combien de temps euh, il y avait ce rapprochement entre les deux zones long, uh, both, uh, zones I did not have that uh, detailed knowledge. Actually, during the time that we were resting, uh, we talked about this, and that's the information or the limit of information that I gained. Dans votre déclaration d'ICICAM E3 9060 à l'ERN en français 011-23699, à l'ERN en anglais 00728747 et ça continue sur la page suivante, et à l'ERN en Khmer 00733053. Euh, vous avez you évoqué euh, des réunions. Est-ce que vous, vous avez entendu sur euh, les plans euh, qu'il y avait entre la zone ouest et la, zo la zone nord-ouest et north la zone est zone. Euh, Ma première question so est de savoir is, comment vous avez appris, et là je learn, vous cite, like quote, quand vous dites... La zone est était sur le point de s'enfuir dans la forêt afin de réunir ses forces avec la zone nord-ouest. Comment est-ce que vous avez appris cela Uh, sector uh, soldiers entendu speaking about this du en while they came to live at the uh, Phnom Srok district. Vivre dans le district de Phnom Srok. Que, um, hier, uh, un petit peu après 9h27, uh, vous morning, avez évoqué des réunions about, uh, entre Tanak et Taval, Tanak and Taval sur le site de Trapangtma. Trapangtma Est-ce que vous avez personnellement assisté so à ces réunions Because I was a low-rank soldier, I was never allowed to attend such a meeting. I was assigned to stand guard outside. And I heard that he was called to that meeting. Qui vous a parlé du contenu de cette réunion dans ces conditions, si vous n'y avez pas assisté Est-ce 
When he returned from the meeting, he convened a meeting for us and he relayed those information. Quand vous dites, il nous a. The deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I just want to make sure one thing is clear for the record, um, uh, because counsel, uh, uh, the questions have been a little vague. The meetings that are discussed in the excerpt she's reading here are meetings between Sector 5 and District Military, uh, not meetings between the East Zone and the Northwest Zone. I'm not sure, at least in the translation, her questions were a little unclear on that, so I want to make sure the record is is clear that the meetings that are being talked about here are not meetings between the East Zone uh, and the Northwest Zone. No, no, that was the sense of my question. I think there must have been a problem in the translation because I first talked about the relationship between the East and the West, and then I talked about the meetings between the East and the West. So these are two different matters. Now, the question was about the relationship between the East and the West, and then I talked about the meetings between the East and the West. So these are two different matters. Now, the question was about the relationship between the East and the West, and then I talked about the meetings between the East and the West. Vous pouvez me confirmer que euh, Tanak, ensuite, après la réunion qu'il a eue avec euh, Taval, est venu s'adresser à vous. Il vous a évoqué ce qu'il avait évoqué avec, euh, dans cette réunion euh, avec les responsables militaires. Est-ce que c'est donc lui qui vous a rapporté le contenu de cette réunion Yes, after he returned from the meeting with the war, he called us to attend a meeting and he told us about that. In your declaration, I think it's on the same page that I mentioned earlier, vous avez indiqué hein, que Tanak vous aurait dit, il l'avait dit aux troupes et avait informé la zone nord-ouest de se tenir prêt. Et vous précisez, pour vaincre les habitants du sud-ouest, nous nous sommes apprêtés en transportant les armes dans la forêt. La traduction en français est assez mauvaise, mais et qu'on ait été rappelé, nous avions été facilement arrêtés à la maison. Ça, c'est par la suite. Ma première question, nous sommes apprêtés en transportant les armes dans la forêt. Là, de qui parlez-vous quand vous dites que nous, 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 nous apprêtons Nous nous sommes apprêtés. De qui parlez-vous exactement De quelle troupe but which uh, troops? I spoke about sector soldiers who went to a station in the forest near the Trapeantmont Dam Reservoir. Vous-même, monsieur le témoin, est-ce que vous avez vu ces soldats postés du côté de Trapinkma et est-ce que vous avez vu où les armes étaient cachées personnellement Où étaient entreposées si elles n'étaient pas cachées We were not allowed to enter the area that they stationed. Et à quel endroit est-ce qu'ils étaient postés exactement?
In the forest near the uh, reservoir, and they did not uh, stay there for long, only about uh, 10 days. Then they returned with the weapons back to Swai. Je voudrais vous lire un extrait d'une euh, déposition euh, d'un témoin dont je ne peux pas vous citer le nom. À l'attention des parties, il s'agit du document E319-19-1-9-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2
Le RN en français, 00, enfin pas en français d'ailleurs, il n'existe pas en français, en anglais toujours, 00731172, et le RN en Khmer, 00728870. Et ça se poursuit sur la page suivante. Ça, c'est un témoin, donc Moonmoot, qui parle euh, de ses rencontres, d'une rencontre avec un Taval. Et voilà ce qu'il dit. Là, je vais citer en anglais. He brought sandals, Cambodian sandals from the Eastern Zone for the mobile unit. Il poursuit. He continues. Nice sandals were given to us. On nous a donné At the time, there was a plan. plan. I was very afraid of that plan. plan. La question. So the question. What kind of plan? Quel genre de plan? Sa réponse. His answer. When Taval spoke, Lorsque at the Taval same time, parlé, scarves, temps, cigarette lighters, and white shirts were given to the leaders. Then he would say, you are all captains. He repeated, you are all captains, colonel. He pointed at and walked out, joking with the cadres after the meetings. He compared the selection of mobile units, the same the military did. The plan was at Phnom Cong Kleng. The plan could not be executed, but I just learned about that plan. Il poursuit un petit peu plus bas. It was a plan to harm the mobile unit, but it could be, but it could be not executed. The supplies had already arrived. The progress of this plan was not known of, of and we were unable to speak out about it. It was, clear, it was clear, so we did not to speak this out. Fin de citation. End of quote. Ma première question, so question monsieur le témoin, est de savoir si is, vous um, avez entendu ou vu qu'il y avait eu un, une livraison de sandales venant de la zone est et euh, Uh, looks like me to be Song Yong Ketuk Da. Defense Council, please uh, be mindful of the uh, time allocation that you should have 20 minutes uh, only this morning and your time is about to run out. And you may proceed now. Je vais euh, me dépêcher de terminer pour laisser euh, la parole à mon confrère. Euh, simplement, je suis un, un peu... Euh, bon, bref, j'essayais de respecter les consignes euh, de confidentialité qui ont été données. Et je pense que ça ne sert à rien, c'est pas grave. Euh, donc ma question est de savoir, est-ce que euh, vous... Euh, vous avez, monsieur euh, le témoin, eu vent euh, de euh, livraison de sandales de la zone est à un moment ou à un autre Et 
Est-ce que vous avez eu vent d'une réunion avec euh, Taval et certains membres de l'Utile Mobile où euh, il aurait euh, indiqué que tous allaient bientôt devenir un capitaine They did not let anyone know about it. And in my case, the, the meeting was held only amongst us, and no outsider was allowed, as it was confidential. Bien, pour des raisons de temps, je vais mettre fin à mon interrogatoire maintenant et je laisse la parole à mon confrère D'abord, j'aimerais vous poser une question sur votre the âge. Le jour avant, vous avez demandé que vous étiez 55 ans et que vous ne vous souvenez pas de votre date de naissance. Mais dans votre récit de l'interview avec le CDCAM, vous avez dit In 19, rather in 2011, you were 55 years old, and now it's about five years after, and you still said you are 55 years old. So please uh, tell the court what is your uh, real age, if you can recall that. Because about five or six years ago, you said you were 55, and two days ago, you said that you're still 55 years old. Which one is true? Vous aviez toujours 55 ans, donc lequel est vrai? When I said I was 55 years old, that was true. However, I haven't counted my age thus far, and I still, uh, I still recall that I was 55 years old. Question. So, when you said that you were 55 years old with DZCAM interviewer, and that's correct, according to your uh, recollection, and you still maintain that now you are still 55 years old? And so I do not count my age since then, so I still recall that I said I was 55 years old, and when the uh, president asked me, I uh, gave that answer. Counsel, based on my calculation, if in 2011, that is in May 2011, when you were interviewed by DCCAM, you were 55 years old, it means that uh, you were born in 1956, or around that. And it means that in 1975, you were about 19 years old. Is my calculation uh, about right? Answer. In 1975, my mother uh, told me that I was 15 years old. At that time, I did not even uh, get used to wearing uh, pants. I was wearing only shorts. Question. Question. I think there are uh, two instances where you may get confused. In 1970, that is when the coup d'état took place, and secondly, that is uh, the event in 1975 and the Meru's uh, gained victory 
Can you try to recall when actually your mom told you that you were 15 years old? Auquel votre mère vous a dit que vous aviez 15 ans. President, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, co you may uh, proceed. Uh, yes, uh, uh, counsel is leading the witness, trying to suggest to him that his mother told him this in 1970. Um, so the question is leading, and I'm also not sure why counsel is not referring the witness to the specific date of birth in his official OCIJ record, which is probably based on some official identification. Um, but the question he's ask, asking right now is leading. Mr. President, I do not ask any leading question. Actually, I gave the witness two possibilities regarding his response uh, to the event in 1975, and the witness may get confused. That's why I provided him with the two events. And I seek your permission to continue. President, uh, Mr. Witness, please respond to the question by the Defense Council. Witness, when my mother told me that I was 15 years old, it was the time that uh, People were selected from the village to go to a mobile unit in Preymoan. Question. Do you recall the, uh, the year of the animal that you were born? And uh, no, I do not know as to which animal sign I was born in, as my parents did not tell me about it. Question. Question. In relation to your interview with uh, OCIJ, and as the co-prosecutor uh, stated, uh, you mentioned that uh, your G of birth uh, was 1958. And if that is your true year of birth, you could not be 15 years old in 1975. So how did you come with 1958 as your passer d'où vient cette année de naissance 1958 regarding the year of birth réponse I was told by my mother that I was born on Monday and it was the year of the dog l'année du chien question question I now would like to move to a different um, subject. Yesterday, uh, my esteemed colleague uh, from the defense uh, team for Mr. Nguyen uh, yeah, no, he asked you a question Nguyen concerning Nguyen. one document during the Democratic document. Cambodia in document E3 uh, slash 1960, which is the, uh, your interview with the DC CAM. Here and Khmer 00, 73, 30, 52, 253, French, 01, 01, 12, 36, 98, English zero 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 seven two eight seven four seven quarante seven I would like to um, quote 
Et je cite. Question. Question. Voilà. How many uh, pages response? Um, three pages. Combien de billets avez-vous vu? Three notes, rather. Three. Trois billets. Uh, the uh, 20, uh, the notes of 22 sheets. So how many should you get uh, during the discussion? I got 20, Dara. 20 real? Respond, Sui. Yes. And quote. Uh, I would like to ask for um, your confirmation whether or not you maintain this testimony that you uh, saw the uh, bank notes, uh, three sheets, uh, the ten real notes, and uh, two uh, twenty real notes. When they uh, presented uh, the uh, bank notes uh, to us, uh, they said that uh, we as the uh, combatants, we would be given uh, 20 real each. Uh, council, yes, I, I got the, that statement already, but I would like to ask for your confirmation whether or not you see you uh, saw three notes, uh, one a ten dollar note and the other two sheets was the um, 20, 20 real notes. Because at that time, my uh, colleague uh, presented this uh, paper to me, they told me that uh, we uh, were given uh, 20 real uh, each, and at that time we snatched from one another to uh, examine uh, this uh, banknote. Question, so are you confirming that uh, you did uh, see the donc 20 real bank que vous avez vu ce billet de 20 real. Response. Uh, for the uh, 20 real uh, bank note, I uh, did not actually uh, get the uh, 20 real uh, bank note. I only saw the de uh, 10 real uh, bank note. Uh, I noted that uh, it had a uh, rather brown color, uh, which people harvesting uh, as the picture on it. Question. 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 Since you uh, also work at the Trepang Tmo Dam, when did you leave uh, Trepang Tmo Dam uh, toward the end of the democratic Cambodia? At which stage of the democratic Cambodia era did you leave uh, the Trepang Tmo Dam? Cambodia Democratic, have you quitted the barrage of Trepang Tmo? Response. Um, I left the bank more than when we almost attained uh, peace. At that time, I was withdrawn uh, back. Uh, our unit were, uh, was withdrawn at that time. Uh, question. Did you encounter uh, flood uh, during 1978? Response. I do not uh, get your question, uh, Council. Question. Do you recall uh, that there was a flood in your areas in the Bank Dam in 1978? Response. 
At that time, there was no uh, big uh, flood uh, during 1978. Uh, of course, there were water flowing from the upstream uh, down close to the uh, water reservoir, but I actually at that time was withdrawn and I resettled in my hometown. Questions. In, during the rainy season of 1978, uh, where did you reside then? De 78. Où habitiez-vous? Response. In 1978, Réponse. I uh, resided en in my hometown. j'étais dans ma ville de natale. Can you uh, tell the court the commune? Et dans quelle commune était-ce? Pour Bon Village, Réponse. Uh, commune, bon bon uh, Plumsrock district. district de Plumsrock. Question. Question. How about the uh, the land conditions over there? Was it the uphill land or it was the low land? It is dans les terres hautes ou les terres basses? Response. Response. Uh, over there, it was. Uh, Highland, uh, full of uh, forest. It was generally called uh, the uh, forest uh, area. Council. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no further questions to this witness. Mr. President, thank you, Council. The President, Mr. International Prosecutor, you may proceed. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Just so this is uh, on the record, and since Council spent time on this, uh, 1958 was was a year of the dog, um, and uh, the, uh, the specific date given in the OCIJ interview, which I'm assuming came from some official identification, um, is of the witness's birth was 10 June 1958, which would make him uh, 16 years old as of 17 April 1975. En avril 1975. The President, thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. The hearing of the testimony of Mr. Lossui voilà has come to an end. end. Now, Mr. Lossui, the Chamber témoin. wishes to uh, thank you uh, for spending your valuable time to testify in your capacity as the witness. Your testimony will contribute to ascertaining uh, the truth in this case before us. We wish you the best of luck. And a safe trip back home. Bon the chamber would also like uh, to thank the duty council for assisting uh, this witness uh, throughout his testimony. Court officer, please. Uh, work with the vessel uh, to arrange for the uh, transfer of this uh, witness back home. So, Mr. Chilo, Mr. Vicope. Then, Council Coupe, you may proceed. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, I would like to take the opportunity to make um, two small uh, requests. Um, first request is um, to the Chamber, um, um, asking you to have um, the colour print version of these banknotes that we have been discussing um, have that added to uh, the case file as, uh, as evidence. So I'm, I'm doing a oral 87-4 uh, request um, asking you to have this uh, color version added officially to the case file. That's my first request. Uh, my second request is to the prosecution. Um, I heard the international um, co-prosecutor say yesterday that they have located um, documents that indicate um, Taval 
having been sent to S21 and also uh, having found the confession or his confession. Um, we haven't been able to localize um, either of those two documents in the case file, so I assume they're not part of the case file. Um, my request is um, to the prosecution to tell us or to give us an update as to when we can expect um, a copy of uh, Daval's confession uh, that we referred to yesterday, as well as the document indicating his um, uh, arrest and his detention in S21. Son arrestation et sa détention S21. The President, Mr. Prosecutor, you have the floor. Uh, yes, um, we were uh, oui. waiting uh, till we had all three things before we filed. Uh, however, uh, in the interest of getting these into, into the hands of people, um, uh, we'll, I'll ask someone to uh, informally uh, distribute what we have scanned at this time uh, around to the parties and, and the chamber. Um, we're still waiting. We're still trying to track down the um, S21 list that the, origin, the Khmer that corresponds to E3 1900. Uh, but as I mentioned, in looking for that, we found these other two records. Um, uh, but we will uh, we'll, we'll have that circulated so that it's available to the parties informally. And then when we have that last record, we'll file a, uh, file a formal document with the court. Nous verserons les trois documents au dossier. Président. Le président. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Merci, procureur. Uh, Court officer, please uh, usher in the uh, witness to uh, TCW 937. President. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, what is your name? A response. Réponse. My name is Chet Yuk. Je m'appelle Chet Yuk. 
question. When were you question. born? Quand êtes -vous né? I was born on the 1st of May, Je suis né le 1er mai 1946. 1946. What is your current occupation? Question. Quelle est votre profession? Actuelle. Response. Réponse. I am a rice farmer. Je cultive le riz. And I also uh, work as a private uh, guard Je to look after other people's house. Garde de sécurité. Je, je What monte la garde à des are maisons. your parents' name? <coughs> My father's Question. name s'appelle vos parents? Is Jim. Mon père s'appelle Jim. Question. How about your mother? What is, what is her name? Mère? Lu Tang Vu. Réponse. Elle s'appelle Lu Tang Vu. How about your wife? Question. And do you have any children? Comment s'appelle votre épouse? Et avez-vous des enfants? Réponse. My Réponse. wife's name is Mon Wong Ri. And Wong we have... Ri. Three children. Et nous avons trois enfants. Thank you, Mr. Chetjeu. According to the uh, report by the uh, greffier this morning, to the best of your knowledge, you are not uh, con related uh, to uh, the co accused, Mr. Nguyenji and Kyo Supon, or any individuals admitted as the civil parties in K002. Is that correct? Yes, exact. Response, Response. Yes. Oui. And you have taken an oath before the Iron Club statue before le you président. are coming Et to testify before the chamber. Is that correct? Dans le Is exact? Response, Response. Yes. Oui. Thank you, Mr. Chetieu. Next, I am Merci, advising you on your rights and obligation as the witness before the chamber. Your rights, Mr. Chetieu, as a witness Monsieur in the Chetieu. proceedings before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any statement which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination, your obligations. As a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any question by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comment to those questions may incriminate you, as the chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness earlier. As a witness, you must tell the truth. Et nothing but the truth that you have known, heard, seen, or remember, experienced or observed directly about an event or occurrences relevant to the questions that the bench or parties put to you. Do you understand, Mr. Chedjir? Respond, yes, I do. Mr. Chetje, question. Has you ever given any interview uh, with the investigator of Monsieur the Office of Co-Investigation Judges? And is, if you have, um, how many times have you given that interview and where did they take place? Ooh. Response. I have given uh, the interview twice, uh, once at my house, and uh, the other time it was at uh, an organization. Thank you, Mr. Chetjeu. Questions. 
And yes. before you come to testify before the chamber, yeah, have you reviewed the written record of your interviews with the Office of Co-Investigating Judges uh, to refresh your memory of what you have told them? Respond. Yes, I have uh, gone through it uh, briefly. Question. So, to the best of your knowledge, Question. can you uh, tell the court that the record of interviews that you have read to refresh your uh, memory is uh, correct and corroborate uh, with the uh, substance of what you gave to the investigators during your interview with them? Aux enquêteurs du bureau des collèges d'instruction. Réponse yes. Réponse oui. In a uh, judge, uh, pre president, uh, in examining this uh, witness. Uh, Pursuant to Rule 91 bis, uh, the chamber would grant the floor to the prosecutor to put the question first, uh, and the prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers for the civil parties have three sessions to put the questions to this uh, witness. Mr. Prosecutor, you have the floor now. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors, and to everyone in the courtroom. Good morning, sir. Uh, a few questions for you. What is your level of education? I uh, studied uh, up to level 7, uh, grade 7 of the old um, uh, in, in the old education system. Thank you. So would that mean that Question. you had uh, studied approximately oui. six years in Ça school? Que vous avez passé six ans à bon. Réponse. That's uh, correct. Uh, oui, yes, exact. around six years six of environ. schooling. Sir, have you ever worked Question. as a teacher? Avez-vous jamais été enseignant? Yeah. Réponse. Later, I worked as a teacher in the refugee camp. J'ai été enseignant uh, dans les camps de réfugiés. Later on, I used to be uh, a teacher too when I was a monk. Et aussi lorsque j'étais moine. Thank you. For how many years Question. were you a monk, sir? Merci. Et pendant combien d'années avez-vous été moine? Bon, Réponse. For three years. Trois ans. What years Question. were those? Do you recall Et approximately? Vous souvenez-vous environ en quelle année? Question. Question. Réponse. For three years, from 1975 to 1978. Well, sir, what I heard you say through the translation is that you were a monk from 1975 to 78. Those are the years of the Khmer Rouge regime. Is that, is that the time period where you were a monk? No. Réponse. Ah, uh, no. I as for uh, a monkhood, uh, I, I was a monk uh, uh, during the Lonol regime, uh, during the uh, three year, eight months uh, period. I uh, was not a monk. I did not get the question right. On the no problem. We all make mistakes on dates. Do you recall which decade it was when you were a monk? Was it the 1960s, 1970s? 
C'était dans les années 60 ou pendant quelle période It was during the 1960s. C'était dans les années 60. Sir, are you still a Buddhist? Do you practice Buddhism now? Vous êtes bouddhiste, pratiquez-vous le bouddhisme aujourd'hui Bon. Réponse. Yes, I am a Buddhist. Oui, je suis bouddhiste. How about Question. during the regime, during the Pol Pot regime? Et qu'en est-il sous le régime de Pol Pot? Were you able to practice Buddhism then? Pouviez-vous pratiquer le bouddhisme à cette époque-là? During uh, that era, no, we à l'époque non. Could not. Uh, the president. Le président. The uh, lead co-lawyers for the civil party, you may proceed. La parole est à la partie civile. Lawyer Pekong. Uh, good morning, Mr. President, Bonjour, and good morning, everybody. I am Bonjour sorry to interrupt. Je I did not intend to, uh, but I heard uh, just now Mr. Witness uh, say uh, that uh, he was a monk during uh, Lonnol uh, era, and then the subsequent question by the prosecutor uh, whether it was in the, the in 1960s, and then the uh, witness said that uh, it was in the 1960s. So it seems that uh, this uh, time period uh, uh, was not uh, correct. Uh, it may be uh, was uh, asking for clarification on this. Je que the president, Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed with your line of questioning. Thank you. Le président, oui, vous pouvez poursuivre. Votre so, Monsieur. sir, during the regime, the Khmer Rouge regime, after April 1975 until Après January 1979, were you able to practice Buddhism? Pouviez-vous pratiquer le bouddhisme? No, we could not uh, practice uh, Buddhism at all. No, no, ne pouvions pas le faire. Why is that, sir? Pourquoi? Because uh, all the monks uh, were uh, disrobed and uh, they all were forced to leave the monkhood. Sir, is it correct you uh, were born in Praia Net Praia? Is it just to say that you were born in Praia Net Praia? Yes, uh, that's correct. I was born in Pranit Praia. Oui, c'est exact. Je suis né à Did you live there all the way up Question. until 1970, at least? Et y avez -vous Were you living there in 1970? Yes, I was living in my native okay. village in 1970. Oui, at some point, did the Khmer Rouge capture la that, uh, qu serait bon de au uh, that une pause entre prayer and prayer? No. 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 I lived in the Sankat or commune that is part of the Prenitra district, and the Khmer actually entered the area in around 1973. Okay. Is it correct that they had captured different parts of the district? Is that what you're saying at, during, at different times? Some was controlled earlier than 1973, and your village was captured in 1973? En 1973? Yes. Uh, what Question. year did you join the Khmer Rouge? Regarding the 
Khmer Rouge movement, actually, they uh, entered my village since 1970, but it was on and off. Okay, thank you for that explanation. And what year did you join the movement? I left my house in 1973. Does that mean, again, my question is what year you joined the Khmer Rouge? Did you start working for them in 1973 or when? Yes, it was in 1973. What was your job uh, for the Khmer Rouge before 1975, before their victory in 1975? What did you do for the movement? Um. I actually was a merchant buying goods from the Ludnolo control area and sell them to the those in the area under the control of the Khmer Rouge. Were you in the militia at some point? When I went to the forest, I was selected to be part of the militia. Did you become a commander in the militia? Did you command other men or women? I was voted to become chief of uh, the militia, but it was the female militia group, not the, the male militia group, not the female one. The group that you were voted to head, the male militia, was that a group for a particular area? A village or a district? Or a commune? district or commune hey. They were uh, young people Réponse. coming from the village and uh, it's because I was a bit older, I was selected to lead them. Thank you. Were they coming from Preya Net Preya district? Most of them came from my village and the adjacent village. Okay. And your village was Chalu? Yes, uh, the name is Chalu. Can you tell us the difference between being a member of the militia and being a soldier in the Khmer Rouge? What was the difference? A, a militia role was to assist in uh, the transportation and it did not have anything to do with the uh, military affairs. Usually, militia would deal with the uh, logistical issues.
Did the militia play a role in monitoring areas under Khmer Rouge control for persons who could create problems? des personnes susceptibles de créer des problèmes. We were tasked uh, to monitor activities Réponse. of people who may cause des trouble de personnes susceptibles de causer des problèmes. And uh, that only happened for a limited uh, time. Cela n'a duré que pendant une période limitée. Who did you report to? À qui -vous I, I reported Réponse to the commune chief. Chef de la commune. You said you were selected because you were older than others. What, were the, what was the age range in the militia? What was the youngest and the oldest? Qui était le plus jeune et quel était le plus âgé? They did not consider the age range, but Réponse, they actually considered the marital status and that uh, those were unmarried. What was the youngest age of the Question, boys that were in the militia? Plus jeune, plus parmi les gens de la At that time, the... Uh, Réponse. Jiang Kets Wan was about 19 to 20 years old. Le plus jeune avait entre 19 et 20 ans. Question. Now, in the, uh, at some point, did the Khmer Rouge capture your village, Chaolu? À un moment donné, votre village Chaolu a été pris. À quel moment était-ce The Khmer Rouge entered the villages in my Les area in 1973. Entré en 1973 President, thank you, co prosecutor. It is now appropriate for a short break. We we'll take a break now de and return at 10.30 to continue our proceedings. Court officer, please assist the witness in the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties, as well as for his duty counsel during the break, and invite both of them back into the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in uh, a recess.